All right, then. Pray proceed as instructed, beginning with your memories. The first step is complete, and all appeareth to be in order. Well, that just leaves our souls, then. We're in your hands, Angelo. It is done! The vessels have received of both their memories and their souls! I hereby entrust them to your care. They belong to you now. Just be sure to guard them well, yes? This will work, won't it? Our theories have held thus far. But I make no promises about what is to come. Even the greatest mages in history knew better than to transport a soul across the rift. We, my dear, are in unknown territory. Prepare as we might. We cannot account for all possibilities. And it is in such circumstances that accidents are wont to occur. Yet miracles do happen, so let us pray and will our friends home. I won't stop praying until I know they're safe. All safely stowed away? I do hope so. All that remains then is to step into the mirror. Go now and safe travels.
did it? Are we? Thank you. My body feels like a sack of popotas, but otherwise, I have never felt better. <sighs> that said, I doubt any of us will be fit to travel for some while. May we leave the rest to you? The vessel beareth our comrade's blood. With it in thy possession, the way will surely open before thee. What? But you've only just got here! Tataru, might I trouble you to brew us all a pot of your special tea? Ah, and we may require an extra cup. Yours is a long road, my friend, and it stretches onto places beyond imagining. With your every step, these grand adventures shall grow more distant and faint. And there may come a day when you forget the faces and voices of those you have met along the way. On that day, I bid you remember this. That no matter how far your journey may take you, you stand where you stand by virtue of the road you walked to get there. For in times of hardship, when you fear you cannot go on, the joy you have known, the pain you have felt, the prayers you have whispered and answered, they shall ever be your strength and your comfort. This I hope, I believe, here at memory's end. What is it, Alizé? Are you all right? 
Do you still feel under the weather? Physically, I couldn't be better. Thanks to Kryle's ministrations, I'm already looking forward to our next fight. But seriously, don't you have anything to say about that? <laughs> no less impressive than our garments. You've outdone yourself, Tataru. <laughs> to give credit where it's due, I had help from a certain fiery pixie who visited me in my dreams. They gave me all the information I needed to get the details just right. For your weapons, though, I needed a lot more help. Thankfully, our favourite heads of state were happy to place their finest craftsmen at my exclusive disposal. Oh, and speaking of the Alliance leaders, they all express their unreserved elation at your safe return, and promise to come and see you in person as soon as they can. They really needn't have gone to such trouble. But we'll be keeping these gifts all the same. Do pass on our gratitude. I realize we haven't taken up new martial art, nor have I ever been one to set much store by appearances. But I can't help feeling a certain lack of, I don't know, personal development. <laughs> I quite understand. But as you observed, the others had the more pressing need. Rest assured, our turn will come. If I expend any more ether, I swear I will blink out of existence. I need a bite to eat. Tataru, a cup of tea, if you'll be so kind. And something sweet. By Mistress Kryle's exhausted state, may I assume that the ward has been restored? Indeed. We succeeded in weaving it anew, albeit at a slightly diminished potency than when I had Becklug's assistance. It is no cause for concern, though. The tower is not easily reached, never mind breached. And even should some few succeed, their presence won't escape my notice. Excellent. Said duty thus discharged, thou art free to go wheresoever thy fancy taketh thee. Upon which note, hast thou perchance come to a decision? The offer remaineth open. Well, if you're certain that's what you... I, I, I mean if you think I... Right. I accept. Henceforth, I shall count myself a scion of the Seventh Dawn. Grahatia, at your service. When I was a boy, 
many long years ago. I yearned to stand tall as the heroes of Eld. But like a fool seeking to pluck the stars from the heavens, my every attempt to reprise their deeds fell short. Help! Somebody help! Hippogriffs! Hippogriffs on the rampage! A giant flock of them! Please, we need help! I could do with a little rampage myself. What? N now wait, just a... Here we go again. I will join the fray when I finished my tea. Thus did the Avatar of Destruction descend and in her wake leave naught but tears and ash. And then, one day, an all but forgotten dream from my youth stood before me, in the flesh. So it was that a new adventure began. <sighs> the memory of a dying world's end. Night after night. And I thought it but a tired old dream. I say, I knew that securing the palace would provide your radiance with depressingly little sport, but that you should fall asleep out of boredom. Splendid, truly splendid. And my own preparations, you will be pleased to hear, proceed apace. Oh yes, they proceed very well indeed, frighteningly so. And we owe it not least of all to this singularly useful body I chance to find. With the Populares now all but destroyed, it will be the simplest of tasks to discredit their groundless assertions that I met with a grisly end. And as the very much alive Lord of House Brutus, I have a vast fortune at my disposal. Ah, money! 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 The great motivator! There is simply no better way to move men and expedite plans than with its alluring glint, would you not agree? <gasps> but wait! Were we not acquainted, you and I?
Should our familiarity cause you distress, I beg your forgiveness. <sighs> what did you say your name was? Oh, a dagger through my heart that my deepest desire should forever remain unfulfilled, to live unrecognized, to die forgotten. <laughs> so it goes. Whatever this flesh may have been before, it serves only as a vessel now. And I, faithful Van Daniel, labor only to advance my lord's ambitions. Speaking of with the palace in our hands, we may now proceed with the next phase of the plan. But how very odd. Despite all our havoc wreaking, old Elidibus did not deign to appear. Dare I hope that the last of the unsundered is gone. Bound no more by the shackles of mouldering memories of damnable duty, free at last to live for the moment. Your radiance, but give the word, and I shall go forth and prepare for you your hunting ground. That which awaited was a foul beast. Ferocious, ravenous, remorseless. Do as you will. It has been too, too long, my friend. And insufferably dull in your absence. When you return to me, you will share everything. Every blow will be a story unto itself. Every triumph. Every kill. Rest assured, we shall have a fitting stage for our reunion. Oh yes, to reprise that transcendent moment, I will set this world ablaze, and we shall dance before the pyre. The beast shall kindle the flames of the apocalypse. Into its domain shall the hero set forth for the final chapter in the tale of this star.